Good evening and welcome to Wycliffe's Cavalcade of Carols. As we celebrate the Christmas season, we asked you to send us your favorite Christmas hymns, and you responded. So tonight, we enjoy your favorite Christmas hymns. I want to thank all of those who requested that uh, particular songs be sung, and I also want to thank all of our musicians who helped to make tonight possible. Don't forget, unlike at home, you can't douse our carolers with water, or else you'll be ruining your electronic devices. So put away the hose and enjoy this wonderful Christmas experience. These are all your favorites tonight that we're singing and O oh, Come All You Faithful is one of your most favorites because we always sing it the Sunday before Christmas Eve and as our first hymn on Christmas Eve. So enjoy. Come all ye faithful and angels we have heard on high, come to us from Roman Catholic monasteries. If you come across a carol that was um, seems to have come about in the late 1700s, 1800s, and it's translated, it's generally something that came from a monastery. At the time, there was a, a opening of those to scholars, and many translators went in and just collected a treasure trove of poetry. Also, this is a carol, a true carol, and that implies it has a stanza that generally one person sang, and then a refrain that everyone could join in on and dance and have a great time. Angels, we have heard of thy sweet
here's another example of a French carol. The stanza, and then the chorus where you would be jumping and joining in. But now we'll hear the bells. Your next favorite, O Little Town of Bethlehem, was composed by an Episcopal priest from Philadelphia, Philip Brooks. He was on a trip with his church to the Holy Land, and he became quite ill. The tour continued on without him, and he stayed in Bethlehem to recuperate. And uh, as he began to feel better, he was looking out his window one night, overlooking the town of Bethlehem, and he was just so struck by the the peace, the quiet, and he wrote this text. And when he returned, his organist set it to this tune. Angels from the Realms of Glory is a true Christmas hymn. The difference between a Christmas hymn and a Christmas carol is that the hymns have full stanzas, and this is one of those hymns written by James Montgomery, an English hymn writer considered the foremost English hymn writer of his era, with over 400 hymns credited to him.
your next favorite, What Child Is This?, was written, the text was written in the 1870s, but the tune is credited to Henry VIII. He was a wonderful musician himself and often wrote music. Thomas Tallis, some of you may know that name, was his court musician, and they often worked together on things. So this tune is also known by the name Green Sleeves. say hark the herald angels sing glory or do you say hark the herald many years ago someone wrote a children's musical called herald the herald angel and <laughs> that was it was a lot of fun sorry i digress hark the herald angels sing glory hark the herald angels sing
In your lists of favorites, you had so many bright and perky and cheerful songs. It was a delight to see Away in a Manger, such a tender, tender song. I think we all become children or feel that warmth and embrace when we sing this hymn. And um, it's certainly sung that way this evening. It's credited often to Martin Luther, but most scholars believe that it's because he was pictured in a children's book tucking his children in with these texts and that somehow that sort of got conflated one into the other. But these are anonymous texts, so charming, so beautiful, and sung just the same way by our soloist this evening. Isaac Watts composed Joy to the World, the lyrics. He's known as the father of English hymnody. And uh, this was set to a tune by Handel, composer of the Messiah. It's called a fuguing tune, that part toward the uh, midway point where the ladies go in heaven and nature sing and the men go in heaven and nature sing. Well, uh, John Wesley thought that was uh, most inappropriate to use. He did not like this. He said of these sorts of fuguing tunes, it's too hard for most people to sing, and those who can get puffed up with pride. Whether you are puffed up with pride at singing this or not, it's a great hymn full of joy. Enjoy. it comes as no surprise that Silent Night is your all-time favorite. Tradition has that the organ was broken in the little German church where this was first composed and the pastor wrote these lyrics and someone in the congregation played guitar. The startling moment of that would have been using a guitar in worship because at that time and almost until about the 1970s guitars were not allowed anywhere in Christendom to be used in worship. But we rejoice to have it that way this evening, to remember that first silent night hearing. And we're reminded of the times when we hear it in the congregation on Christmas Eve. <laughs>
so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Well, my friends, I hope that we've been able to share with you the joy of this Christmas season through the songs this evening. To all of the musicians who work to make this possible, I say thank you. And from God's house to your house, we all say, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.